Let's just go with uh, gooseberries. Gooseberry? Yeah. Gooseberries. Goose. You can smell the arcane magic that is uh, spewed upon this clothing, and it reminds me of, reminds you of gooseberries. I hand you a berry. You have a berry? I have a berry. Where did you pull the berry out of a bag? Um, One of my side, side satchels. Side, 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 okay, the side satchel. It is are you, are you still holding my hand? Huh? It's an orc. I wouldn't got it. It's my ass. Yeah, he just absolutely is not thinking about it. That's why he roots around his little side satchel and then he puts a berry in your hand. And then he looks at you in the face like he's expecting something. <laughs> I I also look at the mess that you made in my glove and it's like, do you want me to clean you? He shakes his head no. Okay, thanks for the berry then. Nods his head up and down. <laughs> Eagerly. <laughs> Some time passes and you are finally rid of dirt. It was like I could have just done that in, in within oh, 10 he, seconds. He still has like you, you a layer. Could've. He's no longer glomping and like spreading it everywhere. Yes, I'm aware you could have, but that's not what happened. That's true. And with all the towels uh, clean, she sends her son off to uh, put them away as they don't need to be washed. Where's my water? Oh, you've already received that. Oh, I did? I'm sipping it timidly. Staring at me. She, yeah, no, he's like, he's eyeballing you. <laughs> she had brought out your water, got disappointed at how long her son was taking you. Oh, after him. okay. So now the sun has gone off, and she takes this moment to ask, uh, noticing uh, how closely you all came into the place together, she asked, uh, by chance are all of you traveling together? It's like, no, but I think I got an admirer. Ah. No, he doesn't actually. <laughs> uh, he, uh, uh, Skull looks around wondering who the hell the other person was. <laughs> because he knows you. That's what fine. Here? What's going on? Who are you? He's, he's the handsome rogue who doesn't talk to anyone. My teeth went rogue. What do I see when I look at you, though? Uh, do you actually are a rogue? Speaking of rogue. I'm a ranger, actually. Okay. Since he is oh. a tiefling, you... <coughs> Coming in last, so Mike part of the could Probably. assume that. Now is that, it a different color tiefling? What color tiefling? Is up to him. Uh, that's a good question. The ones here are violet. Yes, yeah, so far all the tieflings you've seen are shades of violet, with the mother being the darkest. I'll just be classic red. Boring. Yeah, fine. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a damn second. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't catch on, that's how she gets you to change all your opinions. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. Little sheep. Mm. Since we're talking about features, um, you also notice the mother has her eyes are uh, they're silver in color. Tieflings do not have irises; their whole eye is one color, and her. Um, well, I mean, some do. Some do, but hers are not. Cool. I'm turquoise. Cool. Weird, but cool. Given the unique coloring of his skin, yes. up to you on whether or not you think he is part of the family. He just looks at him and not, or like, like tilts his head. I also know. am wearing like leather armor and probably have like a bow on my back and shit still. So tell me, do your characters sit across from mine? Uh, no, he doesn't like sit, try to get close to anybody, but he is actively weirdly staring at you, and it's very awkward. Well, uh, would it be of an intrusion for me to ask? Um, Perhaps where you're, all of you are traveling. Uh, I deliver that setup, so I will come. I will say that repeatedly so we're going back to people. You're, you're the first to speak up? Yeah. So, you hear him speak up about how he is on a journey to visit a wizard named Bashir. I look directly at him. I'm just like, really? Yes. I'm going to see the same man. Hmm. Quite a coincidence. <laughs> How about you? Points at you. You guys have not You're here to see me, so no one knows anyone's name. Points at the cloaked man. <clears throat> You're here to see me? I said. He just freezes, and it looks like he's having an internal meltdown. Or he made you want to follow me. He's still having a meltdown, man. 
just not moving at all. Come back to you. Like, it's one of those things, you don't know he's having a meltdown, but he's staring, like, dead at you, pointing at you, and he just froze dead. <laughs> oh, so you're all off to visit Bashir. Why are you going to visit the wizard? The I, wizard of Oz. I am in need of some coin for travel. Okay. Well, you're not far off. He lives in a tower near the, the next town over. Good to know. Slowly puts his hand. That town is the, um, called Ayapo, and it's relatively a seven days travel from here. And may I ask your name? Uh, my name is Finn Riz. Finn what? Riz. Finn Riz? Yeah. What's your name? Rotoros. Guess I can extend a hand and... I'll shake your hand. <laughs> I'm still a little Especially, weary. Like, yeah. <laughs> Mainly because I like saw your tusks earlier, so I know you're like part work, but like also it's just a weird coincidence. The bickering in the kitchen has died down by this point. The <laughs> sisters must have found a way to settle it for now. So whenever you say that she has water, is it like a glass of water? A mug of water, yes. So, hey big guy. Want to see a trick? <laughs> He kind of looks suspicious, but he nods anyways. I change, I, uh, you know, do my little magic, magic fingers at her drink and make it uh, taste like really fine wine. I smell it, it! It can change the taste of, the, of uh, liquids, non living yeah. material. I'm aware of prestigitation. It's a very useful smell. I smell it! <laughs> what kind of wine did you turn it into? Uh, well, can I make it into, well, actually, that's, I don't know, that's in every campaign or not, but, uh. I'm gonna say you can't make it into anything too fancy or expensive. Right. But you can make it alcoholic. All right. And if you want to add a, a certain flavor. Uh, what kind of berry did she uh, give me earlier? Well, he give me. What? Uh, just a random forest berry. Uh, random? Edible forest berry. Juniper so. berries. No. <laughs> not a good berry. You're not a druid. But maybe you found a druid. Okay. Let's well, say what time of year is it? Yeah, that would help. Ah, uh, yes, it is summertime. All right, so it'd be like mulberry. That'd be an easy one. So I change your uh, drink into a mulberry wine. Smells it. Your drink smells of a, a fine mulberry. And gooseberry? But, no, <laughs> just the mulberry. But you can also sense something else in it. Um, depending on if your character is an alcohol, uh, takes of alcohol or not, you can tell that this would be alcohol. Oh, he's an orc. Yes, you smell the alcohol. He's an adult orc. He knows what alcohol is. I'd say he'd, he'd, he'd have his first hair grog. They don't have water in orc camps. I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> By now, you notice the, the mother not wanting to intrude since you are all now communicating. She has headed back towards the back room where the kitchen is. He's like inspecting this. Like He's like putting a little bit on the table, like dragging across, like inspecting it for any property whatsoever. Like, it's how viscous it is, the smell, like, how well it drops, if he mixes a little bit of, like, normal water with it, like, anything. Spit. Smelling it. He is, like, That's literally it. going full inspection scientist mode with this, and it's weird. Well, you're definitely doing all those things, and you see this unfold between you. Oh, I, I have to say, but well, as she starts, well, as he starts doing it, I'll say, all right, I'll keep busy here a minute. I say, so, what brings you out here? Since I already told you what I'm doing. <laughs> Ignore the mute. <laughs> so I was asked to go see the wizard, correct? Yes, or... you were all asked to pay a visit to the wizard Oop. by three separate beings, since you were all from different points. Okay. Um, someone asked me to go check up on the wizard, and uh, I heard he had been doing some nature research. Yes. And I thought it might be interesting to talk to him. Part of the reason why I bought the journal as well. I see. Let's say, is that like, is it like word for word what I was told? Yes, you were informed that, uh, sorry, I also forgot his name for a sec. <laughs> Bashir was uh, doing, um, is a wizard doing research on plants. And that uh, he hasn't made contact with anyone for a while, and that 
the person who informed you of the situation. And had a close friend and was was worried. And uh, they unfortunately did not have the time to leave their uh, post, whether they were the uh, the town, the, the mayor of your town, or uh, another magic high-ranking uh, magic user, and they just could not find the time to go check on their friend. All right. I say, well, may I propose that we travel together? It is safer in numbers, after all. Seems logical. I can deal with that. So what do you think we ought to do about Bacon? Bacon over there. Uh, seems harmless enough. Yeah, I mean, he's on, for he's sure. He's still smearing this wine over the table and sniffing it sometimes and tasting it with a dab on the finger. And just... Inquisitive enough. I'm kind of worried if we leave him behind. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if he can take care of himself. Hmm. I mean, I... He's now testing to see if he can get a buzz off of this one. I feel like he'd be safe enough if he stayed in the village, so I guess if he it's seems to be going one, the same yeah, way, we should at least keep an so eye on him. I was going to say, say should I roll out. Constitution to see if I'm getting anything? Yeah, go ahead and roll Constitution. See how strong. Or <laughs> Uh, I'm alive. Well, <laughs> the alcohol is These dice, so they either roll 20s or they roll shit. <laughs> the alcohol, while not strong, <laughs> 20s has, or con- news. has confirmed why you did not partake in too many uh, vendors in your time as you start to feel drowsy. I'm going to roll a reflex, see if I would fall over on accident in my little experiments. Go ahead. You, you see this orc, this, uh, uh, I catch this very tall, very brute figure. Very <laughs> handsome. Take hey, he, they don't know that yet. They know this. I don't think we need a roll for perception to see that you're handsome. The fair features. Alright, fine. Then roll opposing charisma. How about that? He's not very charismatic. <laughs> That's what we're going off. What? Wait, no. He's, he just doesn't carry himself well. He's very handsome. He just doesn't carry very yeah. well. <laughs> Got a park thing going on. Huh? I got a uh, Superman's alter ego thing. Oh, Clark Kent, yeah. You'll do it more or less to see if you find this orc attractive. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 20. <laughs> you wouldn't say love, but you are fascinated. Infatuated. <laughs> I'm just like, why is this handsome orc so fucking stupid? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> ah. That's what you get for uh, trying to glamour your character up. Nah, like he's a pretty like that's what his thing is. He's he's, he's kind of dumb. He can't carry himself, but damn, he's pretty. And he's gonna draw attention. <laughs> yeah. I've noticed you're attractive. I say, uh, I'll, I'll turn my attention back to. Uh, was your character? Oh, actually, I don't know your character name. He so. who has remained silent. So I say, uh, a, uh, big guy. He looks at you. Is he, you, uh, got a name, or can you write? Write? Uh, he makes a notion for writing. He's... I, I pull out a piece of paper, okay. see if he can write. Uh, he writes school in very fancy writing. Extraordinarily ornate, beautiful writing. It does K O L. Ouch. Yeah. Say, like, hmm. Well, he can write. He's apparently the devil does name is Skull. Judging by the way he writes, he's actually been taught. So I, so I inquire, can he talk at all? He just kind of looks down shyly. Hmm. I see. Well, shortly we are going to be heading off to the, uh, on our way to the wizard's estate. Seem to be fascinated by my magics. He nods excitedly. I say, would you care to join us? He nods. All right, I guess we have a silent, silent giant. I'm like, well, hey, you're bigger than me. How tall are you? Six foot six, uh, two hundred one oh, pounds. He's got two pounds or two two inches on you, and, and twenty nine pounds. Twenty nine pounds. 
I didn't actually figure out how big my guy is, but I'm assuming he's not. Yeah, we're near. They yeah, live rel- They live a bit longer than humans, and um, they they grow up, and they're pretty similar to humans. And this is that- actually for a full orc. He's pretty average. <laughs> I think he's, he's a little bit higher on the average scale, but he's still average, maybe. Um, I'd say, I think seven, like one hour in for the orc. I don't know what. my guy being a half, well, half orc, his high range was six foot to seven foot. So. So normally orcs stand at like a foot above humans. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd probably be like five, eight. <clears throat> So yeah, you guys are considerably taller than me. So I cry, it's like, alright, so what can you do? You've seen a little bit of my magical arts? Uh, I'm, I normally just uh, kind of shoot my bow in the woods. <laughs> I've been traveling around in the woods for about as long as I can remember, so. So good with bow, that's good. Say, uh, Skull, what can you do combat-wise? Are there any visible weapons on any of your characters? I have a short sword, or no, long sword, and on my, uh, on my side. And you mentioned you had a bow visible. Yeah, I have a bow, and I would have, I have two hand axes, so I would have one on each side. I would have, I have a long sword, but uh, can I have my long sword be made out of bone? The same properties of steel normally. Yes. Would. It's a long sword, but it's made out of a weird bone. So as well you can see the sword. But I, I assume if he has, you know, I try to inquire uh, based on what his class is and a little more relevant. Yeah. And how do you respond to this question? question? Uh, he just looks down at himself and then points to the sword. <laughs> I say, I say, you strong? Yes, strong. He nods. I kind of flex at him and I say, what he does in response? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, uh, Skull's flexing capabilities <laughs> would oh, flexing on point. <laughs> Roll for would flexing. Outshine if you want to do that. If you want to flex, uh, off. are you are 18. you are you joining the flex off? <laughs> I, I kind of did a mock a mock uh, flex to get him to do it. So I'll see. No, a Skull. <laughs> I got seven. It looks like you could join some sort of competition for flexing. I say, alright, I don't think we have to work on that. He's in the strong men company, it's just like... Get him in that speedo, though. <laughs> Calm down, Mr. Universe. <laughs> He's gonna go full Arnold on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't telling you their height. Alright, so, uh, I'm adding in the player's handbook, not the monster man. Well, your... they, they're considered a monster in this one. Yeah. Does, does your man want to buy anything here? Uh, is there anything actually visible to see? It's a general store. Uh, it's a general store. You can see there, there's equipment, uh, all, all with steel and wood, but not, nothing like a bone. Or a, but, um, you can also see general items. There's, there's, uh, there's food. There's, there's the menu posted above. There's bags and books and just... Pretty much anything. <laughs> is there anything that's ignored, uh, extraordinarily ornate and shiny? For reasons. For reasons. Oh. I just looked at my feed and then I saw your face and I'm like, ah! <laughs> ha. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh. Yes, there is something. Look at my patience. And yeah. those little fishies are a little bit big for that tank. It's a 20 gallon set? ten. There uh, is... Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty small for them. Displayed yeah. on the wall on a shelf, there is a pipe. Pipe? A pipe. Like a pipe. Point to the pipe. Uh, you, the two of you see her po- uh, point at the pipe. Uh, see yeah. him point at the pipe. It's another one of these. <laughs> it's Me the first mistake I made. But I, I, I say, uh, I kind of look the pipe. And at this moment, you do know the mother isn't in this room at the moment. So if you were interested in buying something, is there something, a bell on the counter? Yes, there is. 
slaps the shit out of it. Can I accidentally break it? Roll strength check. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> that is yeah. another 20. 20s and 2s. That's what I'm rolling with this thing. Flat. So, so there is break. now a disc. <laughs> <laughs> so you hear... I have 18 strength on you top You see of him <laughs> throw his arm on the table at the bell, and a loud slam, and it, it's like the bell tries to ding, but it goes... <laughs> <laughs> but it's the small. whole he damn kind of counter shakes. Hand. He does and his hand slowly. Yes, the counter shakes as well, and despite the bell not working to its intended, fu- intended function, you do you hear a gasp in the back that you can identify from the mother, and then you also hear a secondary voice... Uh, presumably from her daughter, whom you haven't seen. She's like, what was that? I'm just gonna lean over. His hands to down, you. and he's frozen in place. <laughs> he is in full panic mode. He didn't need to do that. I'm gonna lean over, just be like, can you fix that? I say, um. <laughs> <laughs> As he asks you that, you start to see a hand move the curtain, uh, dividing the two rooms. He looks up quickly. Full deer in the headlights. <laughs> I uh, no representation doesn't do anything for you know, fixing an object. You need, you need the mending spell, which is a cantrip. But do you have? it? I do not have it. He slowly I can lifts his hand up, <laughs> and then the thing slowly peels off his hand and goes plops to the table. As you lift your hand up, you see the mother's head start to poke through the the the, uh, the cloth as the bell falls from your hand onto the table, and it. Uh, clatters on and does the spinning around, <laughs> making, it, <laughs> making as much noise as possible. Before it comes to a sudden stop, and there's this moment of silence, eerie silence that fills the room as if no one's saying anything. Uh, do I see the? He crawls mother? under a table. Yes, you can see her face <laughs> peering as she. Reaction so far. She's <laughs> getting to say something. If you wanted to say something before she does, so I think you wanted to buy something. <laughs> I, I just I, look away from the situation. I see. Uh, she walks out timidly, a little shaken at uh, this display of crushing metal on her desk. And uh, perhaps, what would you want? He's frozen still. Uh, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll be in his mouthpiece. Is that well? He's he's pointing at the uh, pipe, the smoking pipe. And she, she takes a look up and like. Oh, oh, okay. Um, that's a uh, yes. We we could sell that, uh, but uh, it's it's a bit of a unique, and it's uh, probably one of the more valuable items in the shop. Um, I'd say it's going to be about five gold for the bell, five silver for the bell, and a uh, hundred for the pipe. Hundred gold for the pipe. Jesus, it's one expensive pipe. I say. Uh, I kind of step. I kind of step towards the skull, and the moment is like, "Is like, big guy? You got that much?" He roots around in one of his bags. He's like slowly, like kind of almost. You don't want to say shakenly, but he's definitely like he scared himself a little bit. Uh, he grabs a, a thing full of teeth and he dumps them out on top of the counter. There's various animal, big beasties, human, all kinds of teeth. Uh, now, <laughs> as you would know, being a half orc. It is common among orcs to uh, trade goods with hearts? teeth. I say, uh, I say, no, no, uh, skull. They they want those uh, gold shine, gold gold discs. Oh, he, he goes into another pocket. Like he kind of scoots into the side, goes into another pocket, and pulls out eleven gold pieces. Wasn't it? You just ten. You, you one actually that you found. And she uh, she she looks down at the gold and. Uh, Looks back at the pipe and he's like, uh, I'm, I'm afraid that's not enough, sir. Yeah, does she, does uh, Skull understand this? He just looks down, like his ears visually droop a little <laughs> bit down, like he's, he's sad. And uh, can I, um, I'm gonna, he's gonna start fiddling with a little metal plate. And can I, can I slide a hand to see if I can bend it into anything cute? Like origami. Yeah, yeah. Well, sliding hands. I mean, that's, just, that's the only thing with Yeah, that's like the go to dexterity. Yeah, go ahead and attempt. 16 plus 3, 19. What did you have in mind when trying to I was thinking either a crane or a bunny, whichever one you think is less <laughs> complex. Okay. 
Uh, it's going to take a while because it is made of metal, but and you are... And I got are, these big old fat meaty hands. You are beginning to fold it in half as you begin attempting to do some origami with this sheet of metal. And she, the uh, mother there is just standing a, a bit stunned at the uh, situation she is uh, witnessing and just uh, waiting to see your response to the fact that she has uh, declined your 11 gold for the pipe. He's upset that he understands. Uh, how long does it take him to do that? For a crane made of paper, it'd probably take a minute. Okay. We'll say it would take maybe five since you're trying to bend metal. Are you two going to wait five minutes for this orc to bend a piece of metal into a crane? I mean, I'm kind of curious what the hell he's doing. I, I'll kind of try to move things along and for you know to make them things right. It's like all right, so he doesn't have enough of the pie, so I just give you that slide over that one gold piece of the bell, and it's like I get that. I'm slide it to her. I know. I'm, I'm involved. So yeah, you're, money. don't touch other people's money. Well, I say what? Well, say it was. Five for the bell, right? No, it's five silver, silver for or five the silver bell. for the bell. That's my bad. No, I'm putting so. the paper on my fucking dudes. I'm busy right, right. now. So after you saw my so hand, I was like, all right. You're all just standing there over a period of five minutes uh, with little to no noise going on as we're all watching. In this order. is his full concentration. He is in full, like, holy shit. It's like whenever he inspected the wine. He's like autistic. It's like he's autistic focused right now. On top of it. Random event happens. No, too high. Okay. Keep going. So, he finishes it. He slides yep. over one gold piece and puts a little uh, metal crane on top of it. And he puts away all his wares that he just drew on the table. Uh, she sees this. She nods. She takes... She, um... Uh, for the moment, she uh, sets the crane to the side and takes the gold. Uh, goes over to their... Uh, their box of money and pulls out five silver and, and pushes it back on the table for you. He scoots it back and shakes his head no. And she uh, takes a moment to bow her head and say, uh, thank you. Uh, he does a deep bow. I, I'm sorry you, I'm sorry for, uh, that you weren't able to get the pipe you wanted, but uh, thank you for... Yeah, uh, he still has that paper that was handed to him by then. An elaborate scrawl he, uh, he writes out, thank you for your service. She, she no, nods. She knows and, how to read. And, uh, <laughs> well, she looks at the paper, she looks back at you and noting, seeing uh, your behavior over the past hour that you've been here. All and he here. seems generally thankful, like, extremely. She, he wasn't even <clears throat> expected to get served in any way. He wasn't expecting to even be allowed it. She, uh, she nods and she says, uh, you're welcome, uh, is, and then she looks across to all of you. Is there anything else you got? You will all be needing, or perhaps staying for the night? Uh, what time of day is it? Since you've been here relatively an hour, I mean, it's, it's kind of getting to the afternoon. All right. I mean, I'm I'm used to kind of sleeping in the woods, so that's fine. It's up to you guys. If you guys would rather stay here, he looks like he's uh, kind of used to the go. outdoors <laughs> as well. This. <clears throat> I say, Scully, are, are you okay with sleeping outside? Alright. I say, I say we can probably move on. So are you late just because you got stuck in the mud? <laughs> so I'll do a mud pit. <laughs> so or, 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 roll simply because I had a two for a fucking uh, <laughs> initiative. Just, or I was one away from not showing show up off. at all. Like a, like a wild boar. We're not showing up till night at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that that would have been one way to start right. the campaign. So I guess we're going to... Go ahead. <coughs> all right. The three of you all agreeing to head out now. Sounds like plans, fam. See if it did. Party's all together. It does. That's a good idea. Where's mine at? So you're all starting. You're all leaving through the front door. Uh, you hear the mother say um, goodbye. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your service. I hope you all have a pleasant day. She's good. Going through, thinking whatever she can to just trying to leave a good impression. I just fed that family for a year. You fed a poor family for a year, yes. But they're not. Yes, Shh. you did. <laughs> I found that? this on the ground! <laughs> that nine year old girl's gonna have some new clothes. Hell yeah! Year. 
Oh, that's high school. That's, that's not the issue. She chooses to wear those clothes. But <laughs> <She's doing dirty. laughs> speaking of the nine-year-old girl, as you're all walking out and leaving, you can hear her yelling from the second story. I know magic. I see you. And she takes a leap, using her cantrip to softly land on the ground. I smell her. She is frightened. Yeah, no, I literally, I, I kind of like absent thought, stomp up to her, lift her, and smell her. I want to grapple check. Yeah, that's going to be a grapple check. That's fine. Uh, but, I don't I'm telling you just what I'm trying to do. Uh, I guess that's just an opposing Ooh. strength. Oh. Uh, so you remember the rules on grappling? Strength. I'm no. so confused. <laughs> I don't remember. Like, uh, honest, I'll just make sorry. it up as I go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it what was your? Rolls. There's not grapple. Yeah, I know. What was your uh, strength roll? We'll just do a strength roll. Okay. Can I strength. roll another one? No. Damn. I'll say this is the second edition because she would have had to roll percentiles to see what she did. I was going to say she could have Russian suplexed her. Tech. Um, <laughs> that again. <laughs> While smelling. Technically, I roll for grapple, which doesn't exist. Should I roll for strength? I could get worse. It's possible. Fine. <laughs> roll for a strength check to so, grab the girl. That's worse, that's all I asked for. <laughs> Fifteen. You pick up this little nine-year-old. She is stunned, and now she is terrified because some... Do I smell magic? <laughs> what kind of magic is it? <laughs> well, well, it's a feather fall. Well, that's transmutation too, isn't it? Well, actually, I already, I already have it open to magic. Hold on. Well, I okay. rolled a two, not a twenty. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this one's from the Xander's Guide to Everything book, so... <laughs> feather, feather, feather. Feather ball. It's not feather. Trying to be taken. She was using her gust. It's the oh. only spell she knows. Gust. She still, like, landed on the ground with a thud, but she lessened the impact to where she wouldn't hurt herself. And gust is a transportation spell. So if you want to roll your... Uh, you rolled a two, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, twos or twenties. That's how this is going to be. I mean, Ironically, the two and the twenty are right next to each other. I will so say it makes good. sense because it's wind magic, so it would just blow away immediately. So you wouldn't get a chance to smell it. So yeah, you're holding her, you're smelling her. She's terrified. She's at the moment stunned. I imagine if she did this faster than we probably could have reacted. I say, whoa, skull, no. He realizes that he's picked up a small girl and she's terrified. He's scared now, too. He freezes. <laughs> you have two frozen figures having a stand up. We were like eyeballing each other. I walk up to his side and I just put my hand on his arm and I, I lower his arm. They go. <laughs> Alright, uh, how do you plan on getting Skull to release the grip? He yeah, has a terribly strong grip. You still have a hold yeah, on Yeah, I have a hold of her. She is held. He is frozen. She is currently stationed on the ground, but there are still two hands <laughs> holding her shoulders. I just look up at him and go, it's time to let go now, buddy. <laughs> that <is> suction cup. <laughs> you realize what he's done. He feels bad. Oh, she, uh, sure. with a moment of clarity, uh, reacts and, uh, wind magic! <laughs> uh, throws her a gust spell in your direction. And ah! Since it's actually being used as an attack, per se, I have to actually look at the spell. It's it, it doesn't do damage. It might push you. You might fall over, but I just need to read it. Yeah, my base, so it's not bad. Or pain. Oh, pain. Uh, you do that? <laughs> That's what the Pegasus look like on my mind! I'm medium small. Pegasus. Okay, you are technically medium, so... I'm Make a large. strength. Oh, yeah. Can you fall under large? It said half work. It's a natural work. Uh, but no, it's mm. not over eight feet tall, I think. Is. Does your character fall under medium or large? Uh, medium. I do believe it's six, okay. eight. I think he's medium. Then please make a strength saving throw. Strength saving throw! I haven't made one of these forever. <laughs> I'm telling you, twos or twenties! This seems to be the way it goes. You are you feel the gust of wind rush from her, and you're pushed back five feet. Make a dexterity saving throw to see if you fall over. Two. I'm gonna get a new dice. Yeah, you might want to try something else. You're getting the exact same numbers. I'm, I'm getting the exact twenties and twos. That is like repeatedly. Freaking weird. I'm like getting different rolls with my dice. I don't know why it's happening to yours. That's all right. <laughs> 
So you're pushed back. It five. would be the four sided that fell on the ground. <laughs> you're pushed back five feet and stumble to the ground as she uh, freaks out and runs. Into uh, whenever he falls back, he goes like a lumbering tree. He's frozen in place. He just goes straight back, stiff as a board. And that is what you see before you. The little girl has now run inside. The little girl has conquered the six foot eight orc. <laughs> just saying. I can't wait now to say, Scully can't be doing that, a little girl's butter. He's on the floor, like, still with his arms straight out, and, like, nods his head slowly. I like, do you want to write an apology note? He thinks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have another piece of paper. He starts writing in very beautiful, very, he's, he's putting extra effort into this one, because he feels really bad. And he's making it more fluid and elegant. More, uh, I would say, feminine, feminine, more feminine. All right, and what does your note say? Um, I apologize uh, for frightening you. I understand that what I did was wrong and um, that sometimes I do not quite understand how my uh, size and stature can affect others. He merely wanted to understand how she managed to accomplish such an amazing spectacle, for he has a great interest and was ironically blown away okay. by her abilities. Okay. And then he elaborately signs his name. And do you do anything with this note? Because you've noticed in the time it took you to write all this, the scenery hasn't changed, but you can all make a perception check. Well, you're writing a note. You're distracted. Alrighty, boss. Twelve. Oh, uh, I think that's a seven. Yeah, four. No, I got a seven. Hmm. I'm just watching him write the note. Right. <laughs> Very yes, well. you are uh, paying close attention to this note that the someday, say that, that skull <laughs> is ascribing. Uh, you, however, do take note uh, that the fa- of the fact that the the uh, young tiefling boy is up on the second story window. He's appearing down upon you. He also appears to be holding an even younger tiefling, and has Jeez, is, there's a lot of is setting in one house. down and picking up they another because these two are so young they look like infants. And he's perhaps taking care of two ch- two um, his uh, baby siblings upstairs. I see. But we haven't seen the But he has witnessed... You, you could suspect that he's witnessed the spectacle that has happened outside. Is the mother still outside? The mother hasn't done it. Yeah, she was never outside. You, you've noticed the daughter went inside. It t- it's taken you some time to write the note, but the scene hasn't changed. He goes up to the mother. He hasn't noticed nothing's moved yet since he was distracted. So you're going to go inside and see the mother? Oh, I thought she was outside. Oh, no, she, she has not come outside. He goes up to the door and knocks on the door again. <laughs> for one person this could be. <laughs> a moment passes, and the door begins to open. Who's it? It is the mother. He hands out the letter and then bows deeply again. Actually, he does multiple bows. Uh, she, she takes a note from you and says, uh, she, she nods back. She doesn't, she's kind of speechless at the moment. Uh, you... You don't really need to make a check, but you, you, you can gather that, uh... Do I smell? <laughs> Just saying. Does it smell like gooseberry? Does the mother smell like gooseberry? Does anything smell like gooseberry? Make a perception check. Does the wind smell like gooseberry? Fuck! I mm. forgot how to smell. <laughs> you're too, you're too well, you, exhale. you smell <laughs> the, the stagnant stench of still air. <laughs> which... Another way to say nothing. <laughs> uh, she she just kind of nods back at you. She didn't really say anything, and uh, she you feel she accepts your apology. <laughs> but uh, he does the whole bowing and walking backwards thing before he turns and goes over to them. Right. She she nods again as she's closing the door. <laughs> so the party is together. Shenanigans have happened. <laughs> and and ever. You can now begin your travels towards that. 
Which year? The town of Apio, which is the neighbor, the, the uh, which is where uh, Bashir's tower resides next to. Okay, so seven days travel. Yes. All right. Now, Let's get this show on the road. It is the afternoon. You could probably make four hours walking travel. Skull is sulking the fall. entire time. I just kind of uncomfortably disheartened and pat, upset. Pat his shoulder. It's like it'll. It's gonna be okay. I'm just there. What, <laughs> what is your character's alignment, by the way? Uh, chaos neutral. All right. So he's indifferent, more or less. He's up for a little bit of crazy, but he's indifferent. So like maybe chaotic uh, neutral is good tendencies. Yeah. Like I said, he's indifferent. He, he doesn't try to do bad. He just. Uh, he's seen the worst end of things. He's seen the best end of things. Well, he, he's slowly learning the best end of things. So, ro- roughly four hours have passed. It's it's becoming nightfall now. Do you guys want to set up? No- nothing uh, extraordinary or different has happened all along the road so far. It's, it's so far it's just it's the grasslands. You've been walking across every now and then. There's some trees, but. Nothing exciting has happened in these four hours, and it's starting to become nightfall. Are right. you going to be setting camp anytime soon, or are you going to rough it out for a few more hours, just to however you guys want to go about? I say, uh, what do you think, Fenris? Uh, think we should call for a night, or think we should go roll a little longer? We could probably just call it a night. So I'm, I'm camp here. As we walk, can I use my knowledge nature to see if there's any edible berries along the way? Nature or survival, your choice. Nature! Berries. Gooseberries. It's a wisdom, isn't it? Or is that intelligence? It's intelligence. I don't have very good wisdom. That's why I didn't want to do survival. All right. Um, 20. Okay. By the way. <laughs> you found some sweet, sweet berries. Oh, yeah, yeah berries. Yeah, you, you um, find a few bushes along the way that uh, carry some berries, and upon inspecting them, you are able to determine that they are not lethal to you. Cool. Can I gain rations from this? Yes, you can gain... What was your total again? Uh, I got 20 total. I had a 16. Yeah. Natural. You did well enough to probably get three days rations from... Three days rations? From the bushes you passed along the way. So I'm gonna make the twelve. Okay. The berries can be whatever you choose. I'm not gonna go hardcore into saying, "Well, these it's plants are indigenous to this area." Who wants some berries? I look like the most harmless monster orc ever. So yes, uh, you are. You're getting ready to set up camp. There's a. Um, a nearby tree you could probably use if you want to sit up next to the tree or if you want to go into the grass more for being hidden. However you choose to set up your camp. I say I'll I'll start making some lean twos, uh say uh skull, could you go with some firewood? At ease. <laughs> uh let's see. It's gonna be a mistake, by the way. <laughs> I think you say you're good with a bow. Yeah. Think you can scare us up something? I can try. So I'll, uh, I'll take my bow and try to get like some rabbits or small game. All right, I'll, for uh, small game. And you? You know, I'll start setting up a bowl, you know, round area for the campfire, and start making a few lean twos. Do what now? Lean twos. Wing two? Yeah. What is that? You take a uh, long tree branch and uh, some smaller tr- branches of leaves on them, drape them over, make kind of a little tent. Like, yeah, like uh, a mini, natural made tent. Yeah, oh, natural okay. made tent for an individual. <clears throat> All right. Uh, who wants to go first? I'll go first. All right. Survival check since you're gathering. I'm so sorry. Maybe I'm not. All right. <laughs> Uh, you found. You actually don't I got 21 because I only got a one. So you actually survival. don't travel too far off the road before you find a dead tree. Hell yeah. I collect the shit out of that tree. You no, can I just bring back the tree? tree. I'm just going to bring a back whole, the tree. A whole dead tree made a patch. 
that way this fire burns. That way this fire burns at fourteen hundred degrees. Yeah, you'll be able to twenty. Pull, <laughs> twenty total. You'll be able to pull this a uh, relatively large tree. <laughs> Skull is gone, like for not very long at all, and you see him dragging back a tree. <laughs> I just kind of look at him, like, okay. <laughs> yes, uh, the wind has fallen <laughs> over. Um, you couldn't see the log because the grass is so high, but and since this tree's been dead for a while, so there's there were no longer any leaves, and the branches that were extending had all fallen over time. I, I say, I was like, okay, big guy, can you uh, make it into smaller parts?